Hello everyone and welcome to Kimber Creations. Uh, I wanted to share with you all, um, I probably won't be on for a little while, and I do apologize for that, but um, it, it saddens me to say that my grandmother passed away on Saturday unexpectedly. And so with dealing with the loss of that and with the, we have calling hours basically all day tomorrow. Um, we have two different times, but I know the family will be there for most, you know, most of the day. We won't probably get much of a break. But, um, and then the, the funeral will be held on Thursday. And so um, at this time, I don't really know when I'll be back. I'm sure it'll, if, I'm going to try to, uh, get things going next week but I do hope that you understand why I'll be gone for a little bit um, you know it's never easy saying goodbye but I did want to share with you um, I we were asked um, if anybody wanted to share anything for her funeral that we were more than welcome to and so uh, I had spent the last couple days just kind of in some quiet time and um, I'll put this down here during some quiet time and I was writing a prayer slash poem that I'm going to be sharing uh, Thursday at the at the funeral and I thought I would would share it with you all as well and it and it, uh, I mean, there was a lot more that I could have said in, in this, but um, this will kind of give you an idea of what Grandma was like. And then uh, we'll also share a little bit, um, uh, some other things with you as after I get done with this. So here it goes, and hopefully I can make it through it. Um, it says, Thank you, Jesus, for the boo-boo she kissed to the hugs we will miss, for the prayers that she prayed while sitting in her chair, to the humming that always seemed to be in the air, for the cookies and cakes that she always loved to bake, and the comfort she showed when we had made a mistake. When thing is so true, she always seemed to know what to do, for the dollies and toys that she gave to so many precious little girls and boys, and how she could fill a room with more and more joys. From her laughter you knew she was happy as could be, but there was also those tears that she had shed for others and me. Oh, the memories, how they flow. We will all miss her so. There is one thing for sure that I know she would say. It's that we all must live our lives for you, Jesus, day after day. And so we thank you, dear Lord, for everything you do. And now we are giving our loved one back to you. Our hearts may be heavy and aching a while, but knowing she's with you brings us joy and a smile. And one day we will be together again, for it is by your grace, dear Lord, that saves us all in the end. So that's just a, a, a little bit of what I would like to share with everyone at the funeral. And Grandma, she was 90 years old. Um, she was born July 25th, 1927. Um, she, she was born in Long Island, New York. And uh, then she came to Wayne County, Ohio and has resided there since uh, 1941. She married my grandfather Raymond on January 23rd, 1946, and he had passed to be with the Lord on January 24th, 1998. She had worked at a, um, there's a, there was a store here that was called Buckeye Mart, and uh, she had worked there for 15 and a half years, and then later on, she'd worked at a restaurant called Taco Grande, which um, was a lot of a, 
our family that worked there and then and then many years later she had worked at um, McDonald's she was a member of Oak Chapel United Methodist Church she also helped um, with Mountain Vision Outreach and made prayer shawls and then she also um, sent out over 13,000 heaven sent dolls over the last 17 years and um, and the heaven sent dolls was her ministry if you know in the in the poem that I wrote that was the dollies and toys and stuff and I, I believe I'd shared that a long time ago but if I can find the different articles at, at some point you know I can share those with you she enjoyed spending time with her family and especially loved being with all of her grandchildren she had three children um, my father my my aunt and uncle and she had six grandchildren 20 great-grandchildren and one great-great-grandchild which the great-great-grandchild happens to be murky our grandson she has two sisters that are still with us uh, two of her other sisters had, and and brother had passed before and, um, and there's also um, I'm trying to read here without yeah the the visitations are tomorrow Wednesday from 2 to 4 and 6 to 8 and then the funeral is Thursday at 10 a.m. so if you could you know remember all of us in your thoughts and prayers you know for this week um, you know my, I know a lot of us are taking this very hard and especially my dad because grandma had lived with mom and dad since grandpa's passing and so and they were very close and there are several of us that were very close to grandma so um, and if any of you are interested and if not that's okay too but in the description down below I am going to be putting um, what do you call it the memorial contributions that can be made in lieu of flowers if you're interested in doing something like that there will be an address for Mountain Vision Ministries the Worcester Hope Center and also her church Oak Chapel United Methodist Church if um, any of you would be interested in doing something like that um, so anyway that's just a little bit of what's been going on um, and as time goes I'll you know probably share a little bit more of how this all came about but um, you know it was hard enough trying to get through this so um, I will try to be on back on as soon as I can but uh, do know that this week it's not probably gonna happen <laughs> so anyway I just uh, thank you in advance for all your thoughts and prayers and thank you uh, for coming on and, and supporting my channel so um, with that being said I'm gonna go for now and we will talk to you as soon as I can and I hope you all have a blessed day and we will see you soon love and hugs